Hi guys, welcome to the Sunday Drive. If this video looks familiar, it's because we've shot a lot of different videos today. Um, so the video that we're gonna show you guys right now is a general overview of how to bleed your brakes. Now there's four different methods we can use. We're gonna go each one step by step and hopefully this video is helpful. If it is, hit the subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. All right, so the first method is the traditional method which requires two people. This is where one person is sitting inside the vehicle, they're pumping the brake, and the other person is at the bleeder. The person inside the vehicle is gonna build up pressure in the system by repeatedly pumping the brake. When it gets too hard to press anymore or it's, it's firm, the person at the caliper that you're attempting to bleed is gonna crack the bleeder open. When the fluid stops moving, they're gonna tighten up the bleeder and tell the person to release the brake pedal. That person inside the vehicle will then pump the brake again build up pressure in the system again, and the person at the caliper they're attempting to bleed will again crack the bleeder, and the process is repeated until no air bubbles are present in the system. Now method number two is with this power bleeder, and basically this replaces the person in the car. So if you're doing a brake change by yourself and you need to bleed the system, this is a viable solution. So what you're gonna need to do for this is get some sort of adapter that will fit your master cylinder reservoir. What I've done is taken an old cap that I no longer needed because I did a master cylinder change. I drilled a hole in the top and fitted it. Now, whatever fitting you do end up using to uh, attach to the reservoir, it does need to have an airtight seal. Because what you're gonna do is pump up the system. You have a pressure gauge here. And as you pressurize the system, this will push the brake fluid through the lines and any air that's in front of the brake fluid out of the system. Again, you'll need to be at the caliper you're attempting to bleed, open the bleeder. When the fluid stops moving, close the bleeder, go back up to the master cylinder, pressurize it again, and repeat the process until none of the bubbles are coming out of the caliper that you're bleeding. The third method is similar to the second one. This can be done by a single person again, but instead of pushing the brake fluid through the lines, you're gonna pull the brake fluid through the lines. Um, you're still gonna remove the air as with any of the other methods. Um, but what you're gonna do is you'll need some type of reservoir like this attached to the caliper you're attempting to bleed. Right here, this will attach into the bleeder valve. Then you'll build up vacuum with this and pull the air and the brake fluid through the system. The final method that we're gonna show you is the syringe method. And basically what you're gonna do is directly inject fluid at the caliper. So you're gonna, just as with any medical type of syringe, you're gonna pull up here, draw a vacuum, pull up the brake fluid, and then attach it to the bleeder valve, open the bleeder valve, push the fluid in, close the bleeder valve. Now you will need to make sure that your cap is removed from the master cylinder if, so that the, the fluid can rise. So the other three methods, you're adding fluid to the master cylinder and pushing or pulling it down to the calipers. In this method, you're pushing it from the calipers to the master cylinder. Now one thing to be aware of, if your car is equipped with ABS, depending on your ABS system, this may have an issue with reverse bleeding. So it's gonna vary from vehicle to vehicle, just something to be aware of if you do have an ABS system. A few general principles to keep in mind when you are bleeding the brakes on your system. Number one, always start from the furthest point back. So if your master cylinder is located on the front driver's side as it is on my car, I'm gonna start at the rear passenger side. Um, and then I'll go to the rear driver's side, then to the front passenger side, and then to the front driver's side. Something else, never let your fluid level drop in the master cylinder. You don't want the fluid level to drop below the brake lines because then you're gonna be sucking air back into the system and have to redo the process. So always keep make sure that you're checking your master cylinder and keeping the fluid levels uh, high unless you're reverse brake bleeding, then it's not as important. A final note, and I'm sure there's more things in this, uh, feel free to add them in the comments and maybe we can make a second version of this video with some additional thoughts. But when you open the bleeder valves on your calipers, make sure you do not over open them because air can be introduced at the threads of the bleeders and then you're not getting all the air out of the system and you're gonna keep seeing air bubbles continually. All right guys, that's all we got for you today. If you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. 
If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't like this method. Yeah, it's so risky. <laughs> oh god. Oh, but you're just like just car crashes, bump <laughs> fire on the ground. <laughs> I don't open up not as far.